Good morning, people of Earth. Uh, I know this may gross you out um, about the whole talk of using urine as a fertilizer, but as a gardener, as someone that is moving into this, um, you know, as a profession, as, as selling my flowers, um, as cut roses, or selling my dates, um, I'm, I am interested in anything that is organic, the most natural I can get, and affordable. Those are uh, my three things that are important to me. And so when I came across this online, I mean, obviously I've talked about the, the magical properties of urine before on my previous videos, um, on my original YouTube channel. Um, but I've always been apprehensive about using urine on plants. Quick case point, um, as an example, my naughty brother growing up, he, he was a menace. I'm just going to say that. He, he was a menace. Probably still is a menace. Um, but anyway, as a kid, he used to piss on this one bush of my mother's. Every time he came home from school, he was so naughty, and I, I always told him off for doing it, but he just did it because he was getting a kick out of me for, for being so cross with him and telling him how angry our mother would be. Anyway, he kept doing it, and he killed it. Um, so always having that in my mind, I always thought urine would kill anything, like plant speaking, that it would fall onto. So I've always been apprehensive about putting it on anything, but when I saw this video of um, these people in Africa fertilizing their crops with urine, um, I was amazed at the, the yield results and how well those crops grown, uh, sorry, were growing. And I thought, well, look, obviously they're not putting the urine on top of the plant, which would burn it, because straight urine, it's, I mean, it has such a high urea count and um, nitrogen count, it would burn without being diluted on onto the green parts of the plant. Um, but when I read the ratio, you know, qualities and and the mineral content of urine, I thought, why, why would I not be using this as a fertilizer? So after watching um, a couple of videos online and, and seeing these people in Africa, fertilizing their crops. So they basically collect their urine and then um, perhaps once a week they just take a small cup of it and put it at the base of the plant. They were not diluting theirs. Um, but I will say that I have been, I've been collecting urine for the past six months anyway and I'm sorry if it grosses you out but I'm all for recycling and reusing um, wastes and and I, I've always felt that things I, I mean we all know that shit is basically the best fertilizer for anything um, but with urine I, I didn't realize it was the same with that also I did for composting so I was collecting it to tip onto my compost so I would just use like a chamber pot and collect it and then just store it in containers like milk containers old um, like three liter milk containers and I would just leave it in that until I was ready to use it and I'd usually go through it um, within a couple of days anyway and then just tip it on the compost and you can see it over a couple of months breaking down um, I was putting on sawdust and I was also putting it on my compost but now I feel I want to take a gamble at putting it on my plants particularly my roses. But I will say that because I've spent so much money on my roses with, you know, bringing them in and ordering them and whatever, I'm, I'm definitely apprehensive about putting it on them first. So I have put it on a couple of my olives, some of my fruit trees, um, things that have been in the ground for quite some time. And I want to see the results. But what I'm going to do is I have a couple of cuttings, rose cuttings, that aren't doing so well and I mean they have a couple of buds on them but they're looking dry at the top 
and they're not looking as healthy as some of my other cuttings. So since since I've noticed this, I have covered them with mulch. And a couple days ago was the first day that I actually tipped a cup of diluted urine onto them. As an experiment, uh, only about six or so of them that I've done this to, I actually want to compare the results and see if putting urine at the base of them, diluted, makes a difference. So the way I dilute it, whether it's the right ratio or not, it's what I'm willing to do right now is if I've got a two liter milk container of urine, I'll fill it up with urine till about halfway and then I'll fill the rest with water, just tap water. So it's half, half diluted because I'm scared of killing my roses because if you know me, you know how mad I am about roses and how long it's taken me to get this far with them. So once a week, I'm going to put a cup of urine on them or at least diluted urine and see what the yield is, see what the results are. And if, if the, like the African example is, is anything to go by, then for sure I'm absolutely encouraged um, using urine on my plants. Um, I just am a little bit apprehensive with the roses for a start. I have done it with the others, but we'll see how I go with these rose cuttings. Um, so if it does go well, I will for sure be um, using more of that on the roses to, you know, get some beautiful sprays, um, some flushes and growth of flowers and I'm not sure how it will go because I don't know any rose grower using urine so um, you know but I'm all for you know trying different methods especially natural methods good morning so here's the patch that um, cuttings that aren't doing the best I mean there's still buds on there but you can see these here are looking like they're drying out. I have since put, there's a bud actually down there. I have since put some mulch and I'm watering almost every day. But in comparison to these cuttings down here, they're doing very well that have the clover as protection. And these ones are doing superb. Yeah, very happy looking cuttings. These ones are, are quite new, but are doing well, have some buds on them. So a little experiment, but all these others in here, main plants, they all, they all have roots and they all have buds. It's a little bit cold this morning. Um, I have, um, I do have like as in fertilizers, like rose food, I have like that MPK. I have things like dynamic lifter, um, I have rose food to put on them, but I want to give the urine a go and it's the most natural liquid fertilizer. And actually, I was watching this, this African video and um, the demand for urine now for their crops because all farmers are catching onto this and of course it's free and it's the best fertilizer um, they are thinking about even paying people for their urine um, and I just think that's just so ingenious and and what a fantastic way to utilize and recycle um, something so natural and something we all do and and it, it it just seems like the more you are in tune with nature the the better off you are that's just how i feel with it um and and you're not needing to invest in massive amounts of commercial grade fertilizers and things like that um if urine is going to work then i think it's fantastic so i'm excited to see how it goes um not sure how it's going to turn out but i will keep you posted I'll let you know and yeah we'll see we'll see